the life of automotive engineering includes three main steps that go into making cars and motorcycles. Production, development, and manufacturing. Engineers innovate intelligent technology that anticipates the driver's needs. They produce parts for automobiles that are tested in a number of conditions that affect the automobile. What people may call impossible is the truth to engineering. There are many types of engineers that go into manufacturing automobiles. A few include aerodynamics, mechanical, and manufacturing engineers. Aerodynamic engineers style the shape of the car that make it aerodynamic, at the same time keeping the car aesthetic and attractive. Automotive mechanical engineers design ideas that improve automobile technology. They are always looking for new ideas to perfect the car. This may include improvements to the engine, sound, electronics, or handling of the automobile. Basically, everything that goes into making the car function. Manufacturing engineers in the automotive field are responsible for putting the ideas from all the engineers together. They produce the cars and test them in real life situations. Automotive engineering consists of multiple statistics including fuel efficiency, design, and consumer questions. When it comes to fuel efficiency, the more miles per gallon your car can handle, the less likely you are to consistently need a fill up. We can model this to help offer an understanding of the constraints towards certain vehicles when it comes to fuel mileage. The average consumer looks for a few things when it comes to down to buying a car. Torque is one of those frequently asked questions. For those who don't know, torque is what makes your car accelerate, meaning the more fuel you'll be burning. So unless you want to be a fuel efficient driver, don't go racing people at the stoplight. The last statistical topic we wish to discuss is design. Many cars have different designs pertaining to the manufacturing. Whether it be the exterior, interior, or just the engine types of itself, these are all factors that affect the design process. The transportation industry, according to the EPA's 2014 U.S. Greenhouse Gas Emissions by Sector Report, is responsible for 26% of the greenhouse gas emissions in the United States. This is a problem, and automotive manufacturers and engineers alike know it. This spurs automotive manufacturers to seek greener modes of travel. This is where engineers come in. In the NAE's 2008 publication, The Grand Challenges for Engineers, making solar energy economical is listed at the top of the list. Automotive engineers have been and still are trying to incorporate solar power on vehicle systems. In the 90s, Mazda's solar sunroof, and recently on today's Toyota Prius, and its solar roof. Although the technology has come a long way in the past 20 years, the free power gain is only enough to increase efficiency a few percent. Even with the uneconomical returns, solar panels on roofs of cars is welcomed by critics and consumers alike as a great way to advertise the potential of solar technology. Two other grand challenges weighs on the minds of automotive engineers that is, the nitrogen cycle and the massive carbon footprint left by the transportation sector. Hydrocarbons, CO2, and nitrous oxides, or NOx, emissions are the main undesired byproducts of combustion. Catalytic converters, exhaust gas recirculation systems, and other complex emissions technology have been and still continue to be developed. Although the biggest impact to total emissions is achieved through electric vehicles, regardless of how the power is produced.